and welcome to our all new show on deck. It's all about Alatuna all the time. I'm Lauren Dooms. So, what's one thing always on a teenager's mind? I mean, except for friends, grades, etc. Yes, I'm talking about money. First vlogger on deck is Kiana, and she's out here with the best two for four dollar fast food deals. Roll it! So, my name is Kiana, and today's video is me trying the best two for four meal. Wendy's versus Burger King breakfast edition. From each Burger King and each Wendy's, there is a bacon, egg, and cheese and a sausage, egg, and cheese, just so they are even. This is Burger King's bacon, egg, and cheese. It doesn't look like appetizing, but it's so good. What's supposed to be there is there. Now let's try Wendy's bacon, egg, and cheese. This is what Wendy's bacon, egg, and cheese looks like. Let's get her done. It's good, but there, there's like something wrong. It's just, there's this weird saltiness. Five out of 10. Ready, so let's move on to the sausage, egg, and cheese. This is the Wendy's sausage, egg, and cheese. It's just like randomly like salty. I don't wanna have a heart attack. Yeah, I'll have to give that one a five out of 10. I mean, there's nothing like wrong wrong with it. Like I could definitely eat it, but there's just way more better options. Ooh, what? This looks like a Jimmy Dean's breakfast croissant. This looks kind of appetizing. This is the Burger King bacon, egg, and cheese. This is good. It's not too salty. Like, if you taste the Wendy's one, you just realize that like, having high cholesterol, it is very real and it is a reality for lots of people. Like, I feel like I have to give this one like an eight out of 10, a nine out of 10. If someone was like, let's go to Burger King for breakfast, which I don't know why someone would say that, but I would basically be like, yeah, I'll get their sausage egg and cheese. So my final thoughts about this is that Burger King has the better two for four meal, better bread, better taste. You don't feel like you're gonna go into cardiac arrest. So if you ever wanna get something nice and cheap in the morning for breakfast, I suggest you go to Burger King. With that being said, thanks for watching my segment. Peace out. Thanks, Kiana. So did you know you, yes you, can make money selling your clothes online? Or you can even buy clothes from other teens in our area? Well, our Trends Reporter Trinity has all of that more in this next clip. Hi, it's Trinity Bioni. If you don't know what Depop is, you're definitely living under a rock. Depop is a new, trendy, ever-evolving app that caters to exactly what your style is, whether it's streetwear, goth, or even casual. Depop is super user-friendly for consumers such as me or sellers like my friend Sam, who's going to walk you through what it's like to be a Depop seller. My name is Samaria, and I decided to start selling on Depop because I feel like a lot of the clothes that I like are really appealing toward others. I feel like why not, you know, sell my clothes and make a little money. I sell more of the clothes I'm interested in. Again, a lot of that stuff is appealing to others on Depop, such as teens. I chose Depop to be my seller of choice because I'm always on the app. Like it's easier to sell stuff on there. My process of selling, take a picture of the clothes, post them on my Depop, Somebody within a day or two will buy. I just package them up, put a cute little note in there, and people that are just starting to sell on Depop, I suggest they do research and stuff first, like go on YouTubers' channels and stuff. So when I did start, it was really stressful. I feel like I was overworking myself, research and stuff, and ask questions. Thanks, Sam. I hope that made you want to download the app and either sell clothes, such as Sam, or you know, just buy some new clothes like me for a pretty affordable price. <laughs> I might have a few outfits to sell myself. For today's final segment, we're featuring one young entrepreneur and how they figured out how to make money doing household chores. Let's see what's up with my girl, Hala. My another way that you can make money is factors in your house. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Next on the list is the stinky litter box. So it's gonna get a bit smelly, so we're just gonna go ahead and So this Next show on the list is the laundry. The only good thing about it is that you can watch Netflix while doing this. Over.
So that's it for our first episode. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media accounts. And for everyone back in the studio at Tuna, I'm Lauren Dooms, and we'll see you next time on deck.